want to want to see what this cloud does against this robin because we did see a little bit of cloud robin earlier when Nair tried to pull out the robin or sorry tried to pull out the cloud mm -hmm. uh but obviously like no offense to Nair, just not a cloud on the level of spargo yeah of course that was uh what i was thinking because uh the matchup against Nair's cloud definitely looked like a little bit bad for, for robin or for angel and for Angel, and like, it, like, it was just because Nair made a lot of mistakes, but I legit thought it was a good matchup. So like, now that we're watching the best Cloud playing against Steve Robin, then, uh, well, we could probably just see how good the matchup is. I wonder if you parry Arcfire, if the fire still detonates, you know what I mean? Like, detonates on your shield, or if the uh, I think goes away. I don't think it, like, does the same thing as a clank. just gets rid of it. Huh, interesting. Okay. I think it's the, the same general effect as, like, for example, Cloud's neutral B with limit. If you parry the first few hits, the rest of it still lingers there. All right. Oh, no, double jump. Spargo tried to line up the fair, but there's no double jump for Spargo. Oh, what a reversal here for Angel off stage here. Spargo tries to go for the gimp, but if you're Cloud and you miss that, uh, yeah, there can be uh, consequences. Yeah. Yeah, that's for sure. It was Spark you know, exactly with Spark trying to hit yeah, the Spark is hemorrhaging at the moment. Spark is longer than it. Very aggressive. Woo! I really think like the items that Robin throws after being done with his books, I really important in this kind of matchup. Like Spark is the player that will always like take advantage of his ledge trap. And like did if he if you use like I don't know the sword at the ledge or just the up B push, I feel like he would just like it's not a big hit. But he's still forced to shield because of right. the iron. So like Lock, locking Cloud down is very important. Mm. And even off stage, like you can tickle Cloud off stage as long as you took the double jump, right? So it's uh that even for off stage is even really, really important that you can use the comb, you can use the uh, Levin sword to your advantage. Exactly. Now, now there's a really good stage, but we're very, very close to being perfectly even. It's one hit or two hits away from either one of them taking his next stock, and that Cross slash at the ledge, going to take it away. Okay, Spargo able to get out of there. Oh so my great. god, that that is that uh that frame trap was so that was still really good, man. Yeah, was that really was uh, that was nasty. The frame trap with the arc fire that did eventually confirm into the kill with the up smash. There, very good stuff from Angel, and even like just showing that even if your character isn't really like super fast. Um, you can still have like certain screen traps with uh, your tools and your setups, right? So, really cool stuff to see. Yep. Yeah, but now I don't know if it's my imagination or I don't know if it's, if it's because Spargo doesn't know the match that well. But uh, I feel like Angel is definitely playing better than he was when he was playing against Nair's Cloud. The other thing I'm noticing here is like uh, maybe a, a symptom of Spargo not knowing the matchup as well as he would like to. Um, even though he's still winning, Spargo looks very, very hesitant to approach. Like he's, he's staying back, trying to space back airs, trying to space maybe a dash attack here and there. But a lot of the time, he's waiting for Angel to commit to an option before he actually fully goes in. Uh, and that's that's usually a, uh, a, a something that they that you see when someone is a very good player but is hesitant when it comes to a matchup specifically. Yeah. Trying to get this backer to close out game one though. Spargo at the ledge is a scary thing indeed, almost as scary as Robin at the ledge. Don't go for the drop zone, Spargo. Okay, staying on the stage there, gets the forward tilt. I just don't want to see anything tragic like the first dog, you know, like he had such a crazy lead and he was going in and then one reverse off stage really just switched the momentum around. But Spargo making the safe play, staying on stage, getting the ledge trap eventually, having faith in that, and the forward tilt does close it out. Yeah, and the, the thing is, like, yeah, Spargo literally died at, what was that, like 40, 50% early on in that game. So Spargo was playing from behind for a good chunk of it, uh, and then just kind of came in and went after it. Like, yeah, he looked a little bit uncomfortable, unfamiliar in specifically the matchup, but Spargo just kind of steamrolled Angel, because if you think about it, that could have been a two stock if that early stock hadn't been lost off stage, specifically because Spargo literally finished the game at 23%. Yeah, and I, I feel like you still can go off stage versus Robin, and you should if like the double jumps burn and stuff. But it's uh, Robin has a 
decent amount of mix-ups even without double jump because of how the uh, up B were, was changed coming into ultimate being able to shoot it in different directions, right? So that is a really, really big deal. Going into game two, uh, I'm wondering what Angel's counterpick. I honestly don't think that stage matters too much here, but it looks like we are going to town and city for game two. Kind of excited for that. Uh, but I, I just want to see, like, I want to see um, how Angel can adapt to Spargo's gameplay because Spargo very ha uh, very obviously has a clear game plan to deal with, with Angel specifically as a player, uh, and it's working very well. And already off the bat, 40% to get started, 54. Oh my god. The, the 54 on a really in the stage advantage. The, his position in this game has been really well so far. It's only been less than 15 seconds, but his position has been super good. And I just love Spargo's movement around Angel. Angel has to be very careful. You, you see, um, in this matchup already, we don't we don't get to see Angel willy nilly just throw out arc fires, right? Um, and that's already something to tell in terms of like the Ridley or the Bowser that Angel has to play much different against Cloud because of one, Cloud's just base stats and ability, and two, just how well Spargo moves with this character, right? Like, yeah, it's, it's such like a way different matchup if you compare it to Ridley and Bowser. So like. Man, like, yeah. Even this like the range that thing. this back air, Spargo seems like a go-to option for Spargo the back air, the pair. And I mean, it's gonna be like that in most matchups, but he's definitely uh, flexing off that back air against this Robin. Yeah. Also, and, I feel uh, I feel that the fact that back air beats arc fire is a really significant part in the matchup. Like, you can just approach with back air with fear, and then we'll just stop arc fire, and it still finds Robin. Exactly. Landing but, back here though, actually going to claw back the lead in Angel's favor. Spargo trying to take this stock very soon, and Angel's trying to play around with that item. Not going to do anything, but what is going to do something is the, uh... Honestly, like, Arc Thunder, I, it sounds weird to say it, but Arc Thunder kind of, at close ranges, acts like a command trap. Because it forces your opponent to shield, and then while they're shielding, you can just run in and grab them. If they don't shield, they might die or they're going to take a whole lot of percent. Oh yeah, absolutely. You, you, like I said, you never want to just get caught by Arc Fire or Arc Thunder when Robin's close. So the so one big thing is Robin is, I believe, the slowest runner in the game, and I think one of the big reasons why Nintendo it's did that. Is it, it Incineroar? I don't I know Incineroar is super slow, but Robin is yeah. also very slow on the ground. So. Robin's like top three runs or top three. Like, yeah, it is still pretty slow. Yeah, but I think the, one of the big reasons why Nintendo did that is because. Um, it would be stupid broken if, like, she's flinging all these, like, things that lock your shield down and then just runs in and grabs you. And, like, the thing is, Robin still does that, but, like, Ro at least Robin has to be so close to you, right? That's that's what I was saying, like, at close range. That's that's why I, uh, mentioned that. But, like, with Limit Break Online, this is, uh, not quite what the game snipe. that I was about to call it, because very good Thunder Snipe from Angel. Making it around these platforms, trying to mix up Spargo's options there. Air dodging back to stage, getting grabbed though. Spargo could do, do something here with the edge guard. Angel though, just making it back to stage safely. Not quite yet. Yeah, and, and one thing too is Robin does not have much out of shield. Like you have grab out of shield, but other than that, like it's uh, it's pretty much open game for Spargo in terms of just shield pressure. Spargo can cross up with bear, just space bear, or like almost any aerial, and out of shield wise, Angel can't do much. Yeah. And that dash attack though could be big if Spargo manages to capitalize on the ledge guard. A really good decision making there to just chill out on the ledge instead of hopping down and getting caught by that arc fire. Jab three though, gonna hurt pretty bad. Spargo air dodging back to ledge and getting Nosferatu for his trouble. Now That's gonna be a throw. No, a back throw actually. Yeah, back throw. I think he's gonna go for the fourth Spanish, but he still is in the lead. Spargo at 100%. Angel is out at eight, like 99. It's just in stuck lead, man. Like, Spargo can still do it, but Robin is using a really strong character. One more hit really should be a strong character, especially from ahead. But That's the main thing that we're rewarding here. Yeah, that was an insane confirm. Dash attack confirm? Wow. I've oh, never seen that. that. That is Aerial. so crazy. The, the baby thunder into dash attack. Who would have thought? Aerial neutral B into, into dash attack. So I think what might have happened there was Spargo could have been holding down to try and get back to the ledge faster. Um, And then when the aerial neutral B hit him, it just delayed him just long enough that Angel could dash in uh, and get that confirmed. 
Right, one well. one here going into the next game of Grands. Uh, I think looks like according to Smash GG, our next stage is going to be Smashville. Hmm. Okay. One take advantage of his small stages, man. Like yeah. Charles was saying, like, definitely a strong Robin? pick from uh, from Spargo yeah. here. Robin needs to be up close, really close to you if he wants to like get something out of his projectiles. So like, what Spargo wants in here is to have the smallest stages, so it's is like he doesn't give him space. It could be like a little bit weird because like, well, it's a like most days so Rowan might be closer Two, to him all the time. One, but uh, it's still, it's probably wants to be able to rush, to rush that every single time. Yeah. Essentially like giving less space for Angel to do like dash back projectiles or anything like that. And Angel's gonna have to play out of the corner more often on a small stage. Hmm. And also that platform's kind of weird. Ooh, like even if you turn around, it's, it's still really easy to use a double jump but both the platform you leave safe. You didn't really lose anything. I feel like. Ooh, gets a double jump. Oh, Spargo tries to get the punish, but the drift out from Angel, that was so well played. And I, I feel like Spargo um, played that right, but just didn't compensate for uh, Robin's air drift. Turnaround grab so close, but Cloud's grab range obviously not the greatest. Oh my goodness, the reversal was so close. What a spike from Spargo indeed to bring back the advantage in this situation. Angel was, was looking very nice in that string set and actually just helped Spargo back the stage and barely <laughs> missed that. Was the, it was the he was crouching after that RP, dude. That's so crazy. And once man. again, rolling in because he's scared of the R fire. R fire once again at the ledge, he owns a hot fire. Yeah, that, that's one thing that Angel is just always ready to pull the trigger on, right? Oh, you, you rolled past our fire, cool. Let me just jab and look at that meaty. I believe covering jump, it looks like. Uh, yeah, that, down smash, I believe. <laughs> that item, dude. Really saving. Yeah, that play from Angel is fa frankly fantastic. Yeah, like, he's really good at using those items, man, every time he runs out of magic. But it's still really low edge core by Angel. I really thought it was going to SD as part unfortunately, at limit. He's going to be able to get back to the stage for free. And Spark once again in his best position. Let's try it. Spark on the ledge is, is quite terrifying. Uh, making it back to stage pretty safely. Going, Not going to be an F smash. I thought for sure that F smash was going to hit. That's so strong, dude. It is, it is incredibly strong. Those arc fires in the up smash, or not up smash, the aerial up smash, I guess you could I'm, call it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that if that was uh, back here, that would appeal us. It's better to just get damage from them. Ooh, the down air, down air connecting. Again. Yeah, that's going to be a really good um, just edge guarding tool against uh, against Robin, because Robin does not have a hitbox above him while he's covering himself. Uh, yeah, that down air. And even if he did, usually the down air just outranges that for Cloud, but just makes it even easier. We a confirm here the up smash. Very even game number three here. One stock apiece, 0%. There's the grab. Catch the jump. That was really good. 49, 41%. Sparrow gets back to the stage for free, but it's still Angel, it still has the lead, man. Yeah, the end. Oh, my little. Yeah, I feel like it's already building way too much. Like, it's being. Like, in some parts, predictable every time he like, gets hit by Arc Fire or Arc, Thund Arc Thunder. Oh, the grab. Uh, oh, finishing oh. touch? No, wasn't positioned I would for it. Yeah, I, I didn't think that was gonna kill him. Yeah, you know, if that was MK Leo, he would have been dead. No, because I, I would have just side B, man, to be honest. At least you're honest. Yeah, because I, I don't think finishing touch would have killed there, to be honest. Yeah, back air though, Angel looking to be in a pretty bad position. Oh, uh, man, that weird. I, I'm so surprised he didn't go for Dare there. Opting for the reverse up B, which also can work, but can be a little harder to time here. Right so here. He, gotta, he is not going to be able to kill him at least for like under like two seconds. That's... Well, that was less than two seconds, Leo. Yeah. Yeah, Thank really you. good stuff. So the falling up air into the rising up air, um, just essentially calling out the jump after the shield pressure. Jump isn't a bad option, but just more of a hard read. Rising aerial, rising back air is a little risky for Cloud2, so there's some risk going in for Spargo with that. But nonetheless, great call out and going to opt him now 2-1 in the lead here in this grand final set.
Fargo definitely playing the game very, very well. Like despite uh, that game looking much, much better for Angel, I'm super interested to see what the stage bans look like. And it looks like Spargo banned FD and Battlefield. Wonder where Angel is going to take us here. FD and Battlefield are the bans? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm Definitely guessing it might be something like PS2, maybe? Maybe PS2. I, yeah, I don't know end. if uh, Kalos is a, like, if Angel is a fan of Kalos with Robin. Um, I wouldn't take Spargo to Kalos, though, specifically true, because true. of the Vulture. Wow. Yeah. yeah, so, like, already Spargo just kind of has two stages where it's just like, I know you're not taking me to Yoshi's, and I know you're not taking me to Kalos, right? So it's like, Already, it feels like Angel's options are cut. Plus, on top of that, Spargo has his two bands. So, um, we might see Town, I'm thinking. If, 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 if Angel wants, like, open space, I'm thinking Town. Because Angel wouldn't counterpick Lilat either, right? Because nah. right, yeah, so I'm really thinking Town's going to be the pick. Kalos, PS2, or Town CD, one of those three stages. Town or PS2 is, is definitely, it has two. Because I just don't see a Robin going to Lilat willingly. Yeah, he really needs that, that, uh... Kalos, yeah, that's... Kalos, really? Yeah, well... Okay, I mean, you know, giving Spargo the wall jump, but just giving himself more real estate, giving himself more space. That last game, even... It was on Smashville, but still very, very close, right? So, it just feels like he needs a little bit more um, room... Yeah, definitely uh, the, the extra room coming out from Kalos. Like we mentioned, this is a very good cloud stage. We, we neglected to mention that this is also a very good Robin stage. Um, so it's, it's going to be interesting to see how the counterplay comes out on a much longer stage than we saw last game, and also on a, a stage with very, very different blasts. Mm, catching his jumps. Oh my god. And that was really good down, down smash. Dude, that move looks like forward smash, right? It like looks yeah. like forward smash, but it's a down smash. Yeah. And that it's it's weird because it's still oh. I'm pretty sure it still has the hitbox behind Robin. Um, like there's that little oh, shot wave that spreads yeah, out. Yeah. Um, but it just looks like it's one of the only uh, down smashes that doesn't hit behind you. And wow, what a wall jump from Spargo! That's exactly what we were talking about. What makes this stage so good because he can go so much farther off stage. Not gonna matter though when you get hit by the the Robin special there. Arc fire always coming through with the confirms. Good old like the the ancient bread and butters for Robin. The day one bread and butters for Robin. Thirty four percent already racked up here and Angel looking uh pretty sniffy here on this counter pick. We we're talking about Kalos and uh, that's for oh. sure. I think it's probably his. Oh, he's no. fine. I don't think I'm jump. Yeah. He's got the wall jump, he's got the wall jump, he can go mm -hmm. really deep, but went deep, didn't get the stock, but there it is it's on the rollback there. on the platform in the back here. Got by uh, side B and limit breaks coming up. Uh, could be a big factor to Sparta, probably. No, never mind, I was going to say Sparta might want to hang onto it for a little bit for that extra movement speed boost, but suddenly the lead is his. He has taken it back and doing it again. Oh my he god! He really just went for that, dude. I don't yeah. know about that. That's, that's probably going to give him the momentum, but at the same time, it was like, dude, he was a 90%, you were a 40. Oh, the didn't think it was that worth it, man. I'm sorry, yeah. but that was... That was, that that was, was like... That was Sparkle's youth coming through. Cause right when he wall jumped Nared, I was like, he can't make it back. And then he did the the S the suicide um, upbeat. So yeah, I mean, that you, you know when like you're you're just younger and you want to make those like super sick plays. I just feel like that some of that. Oh is yeah, for, yeah, for I have felt that before. Well, I used to feel that too. And now I'm yeah. just the kind of guy, yeah. dude, that like it's literally like, dude, I just want the prize, bro. <laughs> You just, wanted to, you just wanted to hype stuff sometimes. Yeah, I mean, sometimes. hey, Fargo's got an entire extra game to play with, and if somehow he isn't able to clutch it out through that, he's got no, an entire no. extra best of five yeah, to play that's with. that's for sure, man. He's really confident right now. Fargo playing super confident here, and wow, reading! Whoa! So that would have been a hell of a way to end the set. Such a good neutral air dodge from uh, Angel. I... I thought for sure that cross dash was going to connect. Really good defense from Angel. Staying alive here so close. Um, Angel with the stage control, with the percentage lead, and the lead trap with the arc fire uses the upbeat to slash through it. Really great play from Spargo, honestly. Just kind of going high with the upbeat to get rid of the arc fire. I didn't even think about that. So good. One more oh. hit, he might be dead. 
Ooh, straight DI in there. Yeah. Yep. I mean, he I wasn't gonna get hit by any way. That has turned entirely into spam this beggar to hit help Angel. <laughs> oh no. All right, what's the light trap? That's oh, down. Oh, 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 oh. I was so surprised. Okay, well, Spargo. Oh, a big tournament. He tournament, man, with that such a weird ledge trap too. I'm not like, but well, like it well, killed hey, and it worked. Yeah, it killed and it, it worked. It, it, yeah, That's it, what matters. It, hey, it ain't stupid if it worked and it just won Spargo the tournament. So it definitely exactly, ain't man. stupid. Yeah, it was weird. That uh, that was for sure pretty weird, man. I don't know if that was the missed input, but it worked. That's what matters, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. The best, the best options are not options that are like optimal. Are the options that your opponent never expects. That's what I've learned before. Yeah. I just yep, want to yep. point out, Spargo dropped one game the entire tournament, and it was during that grand final set versus Angel. The rest of the time, he went 100% undefeated. Dude, oh, what a game so play, man. It's every single player they played out of his mind. I think we're so good, dude. Nair, Angel, Leon, Spargo, dude. Yeah, really, really hyped tournament. I'm glad <laughs> we were able to commentate it together. I had a lot of fun hanging out with you guys, just commentating the tournament. And of course, with you, chat, thanks for coming through, hanging out, watching all the hype sets. I'm hope I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and the commentary as well.